What's up guys, AP Stats Guy here. I'm um, talking a little bit off topic today. I'm gonna to talk about radians. I tutor a lot of kids and they freak out about these things, radians. Why are we using radians? Well, if you relax for a second and let your brain absorb what it is, you're gonna go, oh wow, radians are actually kind of easy to deal with. So just be a little patient. First, you have to get back to this idea, what is pi? Stop for a second. Do you remember the following? If I take a circle and I ask you how many diameters wrapped around the circle, the answer is a little bit more than three. The answer is exactly pi. Pi is the number of these that can go around the outside. So if it was like a string, there's one. I take another diameter, there's two. I take another diameter, there's three. And there's a little bit more, 0 0.1415, yada, yada, yada about pi diameters wrap around a circle. That's kind of cool, but you know what's even cooler? <laughs> instead of a whole diameter, I'm gonna take, I mean, instead of a whole circle, I'm gonna take half a circle. Instead of a whole diameter, I'm gonna take half a diameter. So let's look at a half circle. Here's a half circle. <whistles> and here's half of a diameter. <whistles> That's called a radius. Guess how many radiuses, radii, guess how many radiuses go around half a circle? Let's see. One radius, another radius, and another radius. About three radiuses or three radii go around half of a circle. Guess how many exactly go around? Pi. Pi is the number of radii that wrap around half of a circle, any circle, always, even a tiny little circle. Whoop. Guess how many of these little radiuses go around this guy? One, two, three, and a little bit more. Guess how many go around this big half of a circle? Here's my radius. One, two, three, and a bit more. Those are radians. What's a radian? It's basically opening up the middle central angle of a circle until you catch one radius on the outside. So me going like this, once I catch one radius, this guy is called one radian. Same angle would be here, R, R, R. See this, R, R, and I open up and catch R, and this is called one radian. So notice how many radians I have with this sucker right here. Ready, one radian. Since I'm catching two radiuses, that right there, that's two radians. And then I open again, and when I get a little bit more than three, I open all the way up to 180 degrees, that's exactly pi radians. Just like here, watch, ready, radius, another radius, another radius here, ready? One radius on the outside, that's one radian. When I catch that second radius, two radians, I can't move my hands like that. So, whoop, there's three radians, one radian, two radians, three radians, and a bit more. Half the circle is exactly pi radians. That's how many radiuses or radii go around. So a radian is just the angle that opens up and catches one radius on the outside of a circle. Two radians catches two radiuses or two radii. Pi radius, pi radians, that's just three, a little more than three radiuses on the outside, okay? Pi radians is the same as 180 degrees, so don't freak out. So a half circle is called pi radians because one, two, three, and a little bit, there are pi radiuses or pi radii on the outside of half a circle. So radians... However many radians you have, it's how many radiuses you're capturing. So if you have two pi radians, you have two times about three, pi is about three, six, you have about six radiuses you're catching. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two pi radiuses is all the way around the circle. It's about six radii, okay, a little more, okay. So, if you think about that and you know we're capturing radii, okay, pi of them is exactly a half circle. There's a little more, that's pi radians in here. All of those fractional things you're looking at are just fractions of 
180 degrees, okay, that's all. So when you see, hey, pi over four, all that is is one quarter of pi, or one quarter of 180. So all you have to do is, hey man, what's a quarter of 180 degrees? When you see two pi over three, if you see two pi over three, you can cry about it, or you can say, well, that's just two thirds of pi radians. Pi is 180 degrees. It's just two thirds of 180 degrees. If you want to go back into degrees in your brain, you can go back to degrees in your brain. That's fine, but think about it. Pi is kind of cool, because instead of saying 90 degrees, you don't have a whole pi amount. You don't have three, a complete, you don't have completely pi radians, you just have half of a pi. You have a quarter of a pi. You have three quarters of a pi. One quarter of a pi, two quarters of a pi, three quarters of a pi, four quarters of a pi. Okay, makes sense. Okay, you also, the other only way you're gonna see these things broken up is the other way they break a half circle up with radians, okay? They'll say, oh, okay, uh, we could also break it up into sixths. So they split it down, boom, 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 boom. One sixth of a pi, two sixths of a pi, three sixths of a pi, four sixths of a pi, five sixths of a pi. That's the other way you'll see it. Then just reduce the fractions. And that's why when you look at the unit circle, your mind like explodes. It's because the fractions have all been simplified and the like, tears start coming down your eyes, but it's just, Basically, uh, it's joining these two together, and you have a beautiful picture that if you stop and think about it, you split this in half, this guy, and this guy into their quarters, and you take pi over four, let me erase this guy, half of pi, which is there, and three pi over four goes there. Then you take these guys, the sixths, those guys go two, two, and two, two, and notice this is one sixth pi, pi over six, Two six pi is the same thing as one third, so they'll show you pi over three, and that's when your brain explodes a little bit. Three six is the same as one half. Four six can reduce to two thirds, two pi over three, and five six stays there, five pi over six, and that's why radians make your brain explode a little bit. But if you relax and realize the pi is always 180 degrees because pi radiuses go around the outside, you can just slowly think, well, how many degrees is it? To find three quarters pi, think what's three quarters of 180? Three quarters of 180? Well, I know a quarter of 180 is 45, so three of those 45s. What's pi over three? That's just a third of 180. What's five pi over six? Well, what's a sixth of pi? What's a sixth of 180? Because that's pi. What's a sixth of 180? and five of those things, okay? So, don't freak out too much. Radians are just how many radiuses you're catching on the outside. There's exactly pi of them in half a circle. That's how many radiuses are on the outside. Um, and radians are just another way to measure angles. In here, those are the radians. That's pi over four, pi over three, pi over two, two pi over three. But they're all just quarters and sixths of half of a circle, which is pi radians. I hope that made a little bit of sense. Have a good day.